Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss poem Chimney Sweepers by William Blake. The Chimney Sweeper is very popular poem on theme of poverty, economic deprivation and the life of working children. This poem was first published in 1789 and uh, the poem comprises the agony of children who are forced to live a miserable life. This poem is in the first person about a very young chimney sweeper who exposes the evils of chimney sweeping as a part of the cruelties created by the sudden increase in wealth. The chimney sweeper is basically the sign of excessive economic deprivation and excessive oppression. In this poem, the chim chimney sweeper tells his own story. So, the chimney sweeper is both subject and object of the poem. So, in this 24 lines poem of William Blake, the chimney sweeper, a little boy, is telling the story of his disappearing life and as well as the sad tales of other chimney sweeper boys. The first stanza is when my mother died I was very young and my father sold me while yet my tongue could scarcely cry weep 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 so your chimneys I sweep and in suit I sleep. The little boy narrates that he was very young when his mother died. He was then sold by his father to a master sweeper when his age was so tender that he could not even pronounce the word sweep and cryingly he pronounced it weep and wept all the time. So, your chimneys I sweep and he sweep chimneys and sleep in suit. What is soot? Soot is the black accumulation of carbon. So in first stanza, the chimney sweeper says that when his mother died, he was sold to the master sweeper by his father. And at that time, his age was so tender that he cannot even pronounce the word sweep. And he sleeps in carbon soot and sweep chimneys. There is little Tom Dars who cried when his head that curled like a lamb's back was, say, was shaved, so I said, Hush, Tom, never mind it, for when your hair's bare, you know that the suit cannot spoil your white hair. In the second stanza, the narrator tells us about the tale of Tom Dars that when his head was shaved, he was very upset and he wept and how the narrator consoled Tom Dars. The narrator tells us that, when, that Tom wept when his head was shaved just as the back of a lamb is, is shaved for wool. The narrator then provides solace to Tom, console Tom that not to weep and keep his peace. The narrator consoled Tom by the words by the, by the words like It is better that his head is shaved because now his white hair will not be damaged and will not be affected by soot. And so he was quiet and that very night as Tom was sleeping he had such a sight. There are thousands of sweepers, Dick, Joe, Ned and Jack, were all of them locked up in coffins of black. The third stanza continues the story of Tom who was calmed by the consoling words of narrator that same night while sleeping Tom saw a wonderful vision. He saw in his dream that many chimney sweepers who were named Dick, Joe, Ned and Jack were dead and their bodies were lying in black caged coffins. 
and by came an angel who had a bright key and he opened the coffins and set them all free then down a green plain leaping laughing they ran and wash in a river and shine in the sun in the fourth stanza the vision is completed and it's still the dream of tom dars and it continues from stanza 3 An angel who was carrying a shining key came near the coffins. The angel opened the coffins containing their bodies and set all the bodies free from the bondage of coffins. The free little sweepers of the chimney ran down a green ground, washed in the water of a river and dried themselves themselves in the sunlight to give to give out a clean shine. this was very delightful moment for the chimney sweepers who got freed from the bondage of bondages of exploitation and deprivation but this was just a dream the naked the naked and white all their backs left behind they rise upon clouds and sport in the wind and the angel tom told told tom if he would be a good boy he would have god for his father and never want joy in the fifth stanza the little boy continues narrating the dream of tom and uh, in this stanza all the little boys were naked and white after washing they were naked because their bags of clothes were left behind here the clothes and the bags were left behind because it symbolizes the burden which was on them because of sweeping chimneys they cast off the burden of life long along with their bags now naked and white the little chimney sweepers boys ride the clouds and play in the wind here the image of clouds floating symbolizes freedom and uh, in last the angel told tom that he would be a good boy he would have a god for his father and there would never be a lack of happiness for him and so tom awoke and we rose in the dark and got with our bags and our brushes to work though the morning was cold tom was happy and warm so if all do their duty they need not fear harm in the last stanza the narrator tells that tom woke up and his dream of vision broke up Tom and other little sweeper boys rose up from their beds in the dark they made them sw- themselves ready to work taking their bags for soot and the brushes brushes to clean the chimney the morning was cold but tom after the dream was feeling warm and happy so this poem summarizes the deprivation and the oppression and the condition of the chimney sweepers that from how much difficult times they pass they were sold to the master chimney sweepers at the age when it is so tender they that they cannot even pronounce the word sweep and all day long they clean chimneys and they sleep in the black carbon suit so this poem overall summarizes the condition of chimney sweepers and the conditions and the situation from which the chimney sweeper pass and how they are being deprived from all the rights
so this is all about foam chimney sweepers i hope that the video will be helpful thank you very much for watching